we're gonna check in with a really cool float, Wetzel's Pretzels. Jessica visited the headquarters to test out her twist, pretzel twisting skills in Pasadena. Now's the time on this Saturday morning where people are getting a little hungry. So you know what, let's talk about food. Our Jessica Holmes, the chef extraordinaire, host of California Cooking, her very own show where she cooks it up in her own kitchen. Well, we thought let's put her skills to the test. We sent her to Wetzel's Pretzels Kitchen where, like Lynette was just talking about, dreams are also made true. Throughout history, the pretzel has been a symbol of success and prosperity. So how do you succeed with pretzels? First, you have to dream. And in 1994, Bill Phelps and Rick Wetzel dreamed big. They were determined to change pretzels forever by baking them fresh in the store instead of a factory. And when they opened the doors of their first shop in Redondo Beach, California, the smell of oven fresh pretzels attracted customers by the hundreds. Jessica Holmes went to Wetzel's headquarters in Pasadena to see if they still have big dreams and big ideas. What we did during the pandemic, we said, how can we reinvent ourselves when we come out of this? What else can we do with a pretzel? Can we twist it into an ice cream cone? Can we yes. layer it with top? Yes, yes. <laughs> it turns out you can. This is where the magic this happens. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. And is it a secret recipe? It is a secret mm. recipe, yes. Step two for pretzel success, believe. Twisting your dreams into reality can be a lot of work, and it all starts with making pretzels. So Paige, what's your story? You've been working with Wetzel's Pretzel since you were a teenager. I was able to go to college and be a manager at the same time. So. And now she's going to have her own store. Okay. I'm impressed. So what's the trick? So you want to, you know, roll it out, make sure your ends are thin. Yep. And then you kind of throw it with the right hand over the left. It's like a lasso. Yeah. And then it naturally falls and then you can just tuck your feet. These are called the feet. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, so sweet. just like this, running over left. Okay, and then you plop. Yep. There's a plop. Well, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a pro move, actually. Yeah. What you just did? Yeah, really? totally. Yeah. 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 But you know what? After a while, there is something kind yeah, of. You there you go. Okay. How can you tell if you achieve success? Is it a perfect pretzel, a prosperous company? Perhaps success is something a bit more meaningful. This year's theme, Dream, Believe, Achieve, really spoke to us, right? All of our locations are owner-operated. Sometimes it's really, really powerful stories of people who are first-generation Americans. In fact, our largest franchise owner who has over 30 locations, Sai Hussein, is an immigrant from Bangladesh. I love that. And you're right. I think the American dream to one day own your own business and then to be selling pretzels, that's yeah. like the cherry on top. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Today, this little pretzel is riding down Colorado Boulevard, a symbol of the American ideal, dreaming, believing, and achieving. A uh, California company that's going to be part of the parade today, and I tell you, the scent of those pretzels was something else.